A worrying number of our freshwater ecosystems are not as healthy as they should be. Some of this planet's most iconic freshwater animals are suffering, and some are disappearing for good. Some of the world's most famous rivers are the most polluted, such as the Ganges and the Yellow River, as well as the Danube, the Jordan and the Mississippi. We use rivers as toilets, shipping and transport lanes, power stations, workplaces and rubbish dumps. We often do this without thinking about the animals that live in our rivers, and this has led to a decline in large river species worldwide. In today's video, I will be focusing on river animals that are in real peril, and animals that might be gone by the year 2100. Hopefully, serious action will be taken and these animals will be saved, but for now, they are in serious danger. The first group of creatures we will be taking a look at are the river dolphins. Even though I have grouped river dolphins together, as I've covered in a recent video, river dolphins aren't that closely related to each other. Amazon river dolphins are more closely related to oceanic river dolphins than they are to South Asian river dolphins, and their similarities are an example of convergent evolution. There are six species of river dolphin alive today, and there is one river porpoise. All of these animals are threatened with extinction, and one river dolphin has disappeared in the past few decades. Even though the majority of these river dolphins aren't closely related to each other, they are facing the same human-related threats. As they are very large creatures and they're near the top of the food chain, they need a lot of food to survive. This means that they will perish in unhealthy waters, and unfortunately this is what is happening. Species such as the Amazon river dolphin suffer from pollution, as a large amount of sewage and pharmaceuticals are pumped into the water. They are also affected by illegal mining in the Amazon, and harmful metals such as mercury are released into the water. River dolphins around the world also have to compete with humans, and this is often a losing battle. We take far too many fish from the world's rivers, and this makes it very hard for large predators to survive. As well as this, river dolphins also get caught up in nets, and this can lead to them drowning. The South Asian river dolphins are the worst affected by this, as their long sharp teeth are very good at catching fish, but they're also very good at getting caught up in nets. It's believed that these cetaceans are functionally blind, and use echolocation to navigate their environment. It's very hard to detect thin nets with echolocation, and this of course adds to the problem. Damming is also a massive problem for river dolphins and other large river creatures, as it means they are unable to move freely up and down rivers. This means that it's much harder for them to find food, and it's also harder for them to find a mate. Hydroelectric dams are usually seen as a clean source of power, but they have massive negative effects on freshwater animals. Thankfully, the future for river dolphins isn't all doom and gloom, as a lot is being done to try and save them. Conservation organisations such as the WWF are doing all that they can to help, as they are trying to implement sustainable fisheries, they are working to clean the rivers, and they are trying to limit further fragmentation of rivers by helping areas to transition from hydro to solar power. Hopefully this will be enough to save the river dolphins, as they really are such iconic creatures. The next group of creatures we will be taking a look at are the giant salamanders. There are five species of giant salamander alive today. The majority of them are found in China and one is found in Japan. I will also be including the hellbender in this grouping, because even though it's not in the same genus, it is in the same family and it is also threatened. These creatures are slow-moving ambush predators, and they need clean fresh water to survive. Giant salamanders are known as indicator species, and this means that if they are found in a certain ecosystem, that ecosystem is healthy. This is because they cannot survive in polluted waters, and this is part of the reason why they are suffering today. They are threatened by pollution and habitat loss, and also the silting up of rivers. They also don't do well in areas with dams and concrete banks, and in recent years invasive species have become a real problem. Strangely, in Japan, giant Chinese salamanders are invasive, and they have started hybridising with the native Japanese giant salamanders. This is another threat to their population, and they also have to deal with introduced predatory fish. These animals are all competition to the Japanese giant salamanders, and it's part of the reason why they are threatened with extinction today. It's a similar story for the hellbender in North America, as they suffer from pollution and habitat degradation, mainly from logging and agriculture industries. 
In China, the Chinese giant salamanders face a completely different problem, because even though they are almost extinct in the wild, many of them are farmed in captivity. Like with many other endangered species in China, giant Chinese salamanders are seen as a luxury food. Because of this, they are farmed on a large scale, and of course many of them are taken directly from the wild. Hopefully more can be done to save this strange group of animals, because really there's nothing else like them alive today. The final group of animals we will be taking a look at are the sturgeons. Sturgeons truly are prehistoric creatures, as the earliest sturgeon fossils date back to the late Cretaceous. They've survived on this planet mostly unchanged for millions of years, yet today they are disappearing at an astonishing rate. Sturgeons are the most endangered species group on Earth, and this is mostly due down to three main factors. Their size, their life cycle, and their eggs. The majority of sturgeon species are very large creatures, with some weighing more than a ton. This size means that they're very easy to spot and catch, and if you do manage to catch a sturgeon of this size, you're in for a big payday. Their size also makes it very hard for them to move up and down river systems, and this takes us on to our second point. Most sturgeons are migratory species. Even though some sturgeon species spend all of their lives in fresh water, the majority of them swim out to sea and then eventually return to spawn. The construction of dams completely stops sturgeons in their tracks, and this means that they are unable to reproduce. Some dams have ladders to help migratory fish, but these ladders are nowhere near big enough for sturgeon. This is one of the main reasons behind their decline, and only a relatively small number of dams have ladders big enough for sturgeon. The final reason why sturgeon are so endangered today is because their eggs are so highly valued. Sturgeon caviar can sell for thousands of dollars per kilo, and this has led to a lucrative poaching industry. In most cases, when the eggs are collected, the sturgeon are killed, and then of course they are unable to reproduce and their eggs are eaten. This is why species such as the beluga sturgeon have almost disappeared, as their eggs are so valuable. If nothing is done about their situation, so many sturgeon species will almost certainly disappear, and stricter punishments need to be put in place. If these signs weren't enough, we were given a tragic example of what can happen if you don't act. As a sturgeon relative, the Chinese paddlefish was declared extinct in 2022. It was facing the same problems that most sturgeon species are, and we were simply too slow to act. I know this is really quite a depressing video, but there is a lot you can do to help. I've left links in the description down below, so if you want to help these animals by donating, you can. If you want me to feature another group of animals in a video such as this, then let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.